What is the physical significance of zeroth law? It considers three object, let's say A, B, and C. It says when A and C are separately in thermal equilibrium with each other, and C and B are separately in thermal equilibrium with each other, then automatically A and B will already be in thermal equilibrium with each other. That means they'll have the same temperature. This is the basic understanding of zeroth law. Now let me tell you the physical significance of it. What is its physical significance? See, let me consider this C body as a thermometer and this A body as uh, the boiling water in country A. So what I do is first I go to country A and there I uh, establish thermal equilibrium between this thermometer and this boiling water and then I move to country B and again I establish thermal equilibrium with the boiling water there. What we have to consider here is we have to assume that all the atmospheric conditions are same that means the pressure and everything if uh, the pressure is atmospheric pressure and other conditions are same in both the places then you'll see that the thermometer will show the same temperature right it will cal calibrate same temperature and these two boiling water will have same temperature also so this is the basic philosophy behind zeroth law of thermodynamics.